Welcome to the second video of continuity. Question number two. question you, we, uh, you are asked to find the value of k when the function is continuous at x equal to 5. So as before what will we do we will calculate the value of the function at the point 5 so f5 and when the sorry it should be your x because the function is in terms of x. Now when x is equal to 5, we have to choose this expression. So, in this expression, in place of x, we will write 5. And what we are getting? Then we are getting 7. Now, find left hand limit. Limit x tends to 5 minus, that is left hand limit of the function f x. In next step, what will we do? We will replace here this with h approaches to 0. That is limit h tends to 0. And in place of fx, we will write this expression because fx, fx value will be your 3x minus x when x is less than 5. 3x minus 8. And you write still here because we are writing this in terms of x. Now, after this, we will change the value in terms of h. Since it is your left hand limit, so what will we do? Now we will replace here with h approaches to 0 and in place of x, we will write 5 minus h. Why 5 minus h? Because, you, because this is your left hand limit. And for left hand limit, what you have to do, I already told you in my previous video, you have to replace x with this minus h. And so right here minus a, put this in curly bracket. Now put the value of h 0, we 5 minus 0 minus a, simplify 15 minus a equal to 7. Thus what we got here, functional value 7, left hand limit value also 7. And now we will calculate or limit from right hand side and it is already given so no need to calculate because when x is greater than 5 fx is equal to 2k so we can that directly write here limit x tends to 5 plus fx equal to 2k now as it is given that the function is continuous as it is given that the function is continuous so this value, this value and this value must be same. So it's not down. Now we have to write since the function is continuous. as x equal to 5 implies limit x tends to 5 plus fx equal to limit x tends to 5 minus fx equal to f5 implies 
this new value we got here it was our 7 so 7 equal to 2k this implies k equal to 7 by 2 that is 3.5 Now let's do another question. You are asked to prove or show that the function this is discontinuous at x equal to 2. How will you prove? Let's see. First, find the functional value at the point 2. And for that, we have this expression when the value of x is more than or equal to 2. So, here we will put in place of x 2 to get x 2, that is value of the function at 2. And this what we are getting? We are getting here 2. So it's minus 4, 2. Now find left hand limit. Limit x tends to 2 minus fx equal to limit x tends to this. This is not minus. This is on the head of the 2. It represents your left hand limit. fx when x is less than 2, less than 2, we have this expression, so we will write this first. Now we will replace this with x approaches to 0, and you know what you have to replace for x here. You have to put 2 minus h. So right here, 2 minus h, put this in curly bracket, and see what we are getting. We are getting now put the value of h 0, 3. 2 minus 0 minus 4 and 6 minus 4 equal to 2. Sorry, make it plus because it is for more than x. So just it will change the sign and yeah, it will remain. Now here right hand limit and function value both are coming same. Now you calculate left hand limit. Just here we have to be very careful while selecting the function. For when or if we are writing this expression, this is actually it is for more than 2. That is right hand limits. So no problem you can calculate first left hand limit then right hand limit. But you have to calculate all the three. It is your choice which one you want to calculate first. Limit x tends to 2 minus fx equal to now find left hand limit because these two are becoming same. So x tends to 2 minus in place of fx when it is less than 2. We have this expression. Now we will change this with s tends to 0 and over here 2 minus h whole square. And say what we are getting now put the value of h 0 2 minus 0 whole square that is we are getting 4. Now say here f2 value is 2 right hand limit value is 2 but left hand value is your 4. So all these three values are not equal so this function is not continuous that is it is discontinuous. So 
to the right, down. Finally, how will you write this? How will you make conclusion? Right. Since limit x tends to 2 plus half x is not equal to limit x tends to 2 minus half x because left hand and right hand limit was also not equal because 1 was your right hand limit was our 2 and left hand limit was our 4. So the given function is now right so the given function is is continuous or not continuous which one you want to write you can write at x equal to 2 so children I included all possible varieties what type of question you, you can be asked like how to prove continuity how to prove discontinuity how to find the value of uh, any parameter like k that you did in example number 2 so please go through the video again and again and also solve the question that I am sending you in pdf file on your whatsapp number thank you